Hey everyone, welcome back to Aliens on Tourist Gaming, and we are back in the aisle. So we've finished playing as the Barry, and we are now the very large, very dangerous Suko. Uh, and in our current state, we are probably one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, carnivores in this particular server. Uh, the one I was playing in, uh, or the one I am playing in, is till the end, uh, survival. So, there are a couple of rules surrounding that and a couple of changes that the uh, server owners have made that I think actually make it quite good. Uh, for starters, Apexes are a heck of a lot of progression points to actually get to. So, getting to an Apex Carnivore is hard. Uh, you have to survive, I think, for 2,400 minutes to get there. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, and it's the same for the top tier herbivores. Getting to a Shant is a mission and a half. Uh, but we're playing as the Suko eventually, if we survive that long, we will be playing as the Spino. Uh, but our first priority, I guess, is to go hunting. Uh, because we will need to stay alive, we will need food to keep us uh, limber and, and well fed and alive for the 2000s however many minutes that we are going to have to survive as this guy. Uh, again, we're playing on the Stonecore Highlands map. If you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun. It is a small map, but that means that there are a lot of players kind of congregated in a small area. It makes it a lot more compact. Kind of feels like you can survive even if there's not that many people on the server. Uh, and it gives you a lot more fun if you're a herbivore. Uh, you kind of aren't just alone for 99% of the time. So, yeah, it's nice. You should definitely check it out. Okay, so it does sound like there is a... Get off the tree. There's a Therry somewhere around here. Now, we are going to be vulnerable to Therries. Therries are a higher tier than we are, um, I think. They might not be a higher weight class than us, but they definitely do more damage than we do. Uh, so if I can avoid it, I am going to avoid that Therry. Uh, but that, I think, is in the direction we are heading in. So we're going to have to take it slow-ish once we kind of get towards where I think the sound is coming from, which is going to be that main lake in the middle. We're also going to keep an eye out for corpses along the way because, uh, I mean, any extra food we can get, we're going to make use of that because we've got to stay alive for a long time. We don't want to be pushing ourselves so that we're barely scraping by the entire time. We want to be making it so that we are a top carnivore. And speak of the devil, we have our first corpse. Um, let's see what it is. And next question, what killed it? Doesn't seem to be anything around apart from those herbivores in the distance over there. Maybe that's what killed this guy. What is... Is this what it... I think it is? Is this... Oh, it's an acker. I thought it was a Giga for a second then. I was like, Jesus! It took down a, a top tier carnivore. Uh, but taking down an acro was a little bit easier. Uh, it's nowhere near as fast. Jesus, there's a few things that got taken down here. Poor Dryer got eaten. Let's finish that one up. Uh, looks like a Maya over here. I don't know. This is. This is all too much, I think. Um. We don't necessarily know. This is an aloe. Oh, that's gonna suck. Yeah, you, you stay friendly, bud. Um, so eventually what we're gonna need to do is we are going to need to hunt. But for the moment, we've got food, so we are pretty set. So let's go have a look at what is actually down here at this, uh, the main lake of the Stoneclaw Highlands. We'll keep an eye on this aloe because I don't trust any aloes. They tend to like to bite things, and when an aloe bites you, you bleed about it for about 15 minutes later. So it's it's never particularly fun uh, coming face to face with an aloe. Uh, but it looks like this is where all the action is happening. Jesus, we've got Utahs, we've got... We, there was a steg up there. Uh, we've got all kinds of things. So let's just swim right down the middle. Um, I don't think we can swim any faster than this. 
Uh, one thing that is cool though, is that we are swimming. That is something I haven't seen the Suko do before. He's swimming, that's cool. And he's even paddling with his little feet. It's not quite a doggy paddle, or dino paddle, but it, it'll do. It'll, it'll definitely do. <laughs> so we're just gonna swim along the lake uh, until we get to the main area. It looks like we've got... There's the Therry over there, so we'll keep clear of him because I'm not sure if we can outrun a Therry. It's gonna be... That's something that's up in the air. I don't wanna have to test that on the, on the fly. Um, but we seem to be all good here. Seems to be that no one's particularly mad at anybody else. We all seem pretty chill. Which is not something you see very often in, uh, in the aisle. And it looks like there's a baby aloe here. Look at this thing! This thing is tiny! Hello there! You are so small! I should probably leave here though, because... Oh, there's another baby aloe! I thought you were a Hera! That's pretty cool. We've got aloes everywhere. And it's the blue aloe, which is, if if I may say so, the nicest aloe in my opinion. Um, and we got ourselves a fairy. Oh, looks like the fairy's coming back in. I don't know if the fairy is angry though. That's going to be the question of the day. Uh, and I don't know what happened to that steg. The steg seemed to have disappeared. Um, but it seems like we've got food, we've got water, we've got no competition at the moment uh, because plentiful supply of both of those. Oh my god, it's a baby Therry! Okay, so now we kind of get why the Therry was angry before. I want to go check out this little dude. If I can. That is adorable. I'm gonna just swim across here. Look at this dude! He's so small and so fluffy! That's adorable. Okay, so that's why the Therry was making a lot of noise before. Because there was a baby born. It was all a good time. Yeah, I'm just, I'll leave you to it. I'm not going to eat your baby. There's plenty of food for me. Uh, but yeah, that might be us soon. Maybe we will we will uh, nest up as a Suko just before we progress to Spino so that someone else can carry the mantle. Uh, we'll have to see. Definitely have to see. Ooh, hello there. Seems like somebody's killed off this packy. Well, I'll... Uh, Oh no, I drank it. I don't want to drink it. I'm going to eat this packy. There we go. I'm going to eat the packy because uh, that's what that's what good dinosaurs do. We don't kill them, we don't need to. Uh, but at the same time, if I'm defending an area, I'll still kill in the area. Looks like we've also got a Hera here. And I'm going to guess that he's probably responsible for killing that packy, and that packy's probably responsible for killing him back. I think that the Hera does damage, uh, though I can't be sure, and sh SHUT UP! Jesus. Go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, taught you! Um, that'll be more impressive when I'm playing as a Spino, and, uh, like hearing the wind tunnel Spino sound effect, uh, kind of sends shivers down people's spines, knowing that there is indeed a Spino around. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we might actually set up somewhere around here and get ourselves some baby Sukos. In fact, let's set up on this right here. I'm going to... Nope, that's night vision. That's not what I want at all. In fact, I haven't actually seen this map during the night. Um, it's one thing I try and test out usually. But I haven't had the opportunity. Huh, there we go. Um, so what we'll do is we'll nest up. We've got a little bit of food here. Uh, we should have plenty. And this should be enough. Oh, come on, come on. Eat that. Just eat this dude. There we go. This should be enough for us and any babies that we spawn here. 
Plus, we've got ample opportunity to go over there and hunt some more food, should we want it. So let's just uh, take a seat, relax, and then wait for our newborns to uh, come into the world. Okay, so it should just be any minute now until we get our first egg as the Suko. Now, I've invited King Slapperho over there, just because he was around. Um, but yeah, we've almost got our first egg. So if you haven't played with progression before and haven't tried to nest before, it takes 15 minutes for your first egg to actually grow up, and you have to have 15 food in your nest to start with. It sounds like we've got some company coming in here. Get out of my zone, mister. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to check our... Aha! There we go! We're going to... Let's see if we can get out of the nest again. There we go. Let's invite King... Where'd he go? And that was Highlander was also around here just a minute ago. Uh, and... See if either of those guys want to actually nest in here. See if we can drive off this aloe first. I don't actually know what's going on. It seems like the aloe is friendly. And it seems like King Slapaho is not interested in nesting in with us. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. See if we can get the nest again. Okay, come on, King Slapaho, where are you? There we go. See if he wants to nest in. Ooh, it seems like we might have an opportunity to get more food for our eventual uh, baby. Whether it's King or someone else, I'm not sure. But the baby fairy that we saw only a little while ago seems to be right here and we're gonna need that food to sustain a small family so we're just gonna do pop our heads up in a second and say hello check that we haven't left an empty nest there we <laughs> spaghetti bird Okay, so we've now got enough food. We can't eat this one. We've got enough food for our nest over here. Uh, we've got a Paki, we've got a Hera. We have plenty of food. And it seems like we have ourselves a baby Suko. Uh, so we've got tons of food for these guys. We just need to give them enough time to grow up and have a look at the size of this. It's tiny. But like, we could step on him, and kill him, and we wouldn't even know, that's how small he is. And, good lord, you're super slow too. Jeez. Uh, what we'll try and do is we'll try and get him to exhaust these food sources first, before we move on to the, the ferry over there, and uh, any other food we can kind of stockpile. Um, while we're nesting in here. Uh, what we might also do is we might, one, two, three, one, two, three. We might add some more food so that we get a total of four eggs. Uh, we may not actually look after half of our kin, but uh, we can at least spawn them in. And being the main kind of thoroughfare for most dinosaurs, they should be able to scavenge enough food to keep themselves alive. Uh, but, again, we've got to wait a long time for food to actually get in there. And for the eggs to grow up. So, it's just going to be a matter of time of keeping this guy safe. And keeping this nest protected. I like how the Suko, when you sit him down on top of your nest, his arms kind of pose to hug the nest. To kind of keep it close to make sure that no one's going to attack our nest. Um, I don't know if that's an intentional thing by the developers. I'm pretty sure that the Suko did that before nests were brought out. Uh, but it's kind of cool that it kind of lines up that way. 
Uh, so we've only got one baby at the moment, our other egg is quite a while away. We've got a decent amount of time before the next egg is ready. Uh, so what I might do is just keep ourselves well fed. I might quickly go make a run to kind of the more uh, open food over in that direction. Larger herbivores that have died, or larger carnivores that have died. So I can feed myself, and I'm not going to steal the resources that I've left for the babies. Uh, that's what I might go do. I might go quickly make a run in that direction. Uh, see if there's any really close here. I don't think there is, from memory. Hello there, tiny raptor. Um, where is some? Okay, I think the closest food is actually up near... Whoa! That's a Rex! We've got ourselves a Rex! That's the first apex I have seen on this map. Uh, yeah, first one I've seen, and that means I'm going to head in the opposite direction. Because I know that there's not going to be much competition for that particular apex. Uh, unless a whole bunch of people kind of pull together. He's going to stick around. He doesn't have really any competition. Uh, is that an acro? Or a giga? I've lost all the sounds. I don't know what they are anymore. Um, let's invite... Uh, no, we don't, we don't want to invite anybody just yet, because we don't have a nest to actually nest them in at. But it seems like we've got tons and tons of food around here. Um, Highlander, you'd be good. <laughs> um, we will invite Highlander back here again. He was a Hera, a, uh, not a Hera, uh, Velociraptor that was just chilling around here a little while ago. So... Hopefully, he's interested in coming back again. But we also have a Velociraptor just here. A uh, Utah Raptor. Let's chase that guy off. Make sure he sticks away from our babies. And our food supply. Um, how long have we got on here? Another got nine minutes. We've got another six minutes before we can have another egg. Ooh, okay. Uh... We've got the Rex coming through. That's never a particularly good sign. But I also don't want to leave my nest exposed. So... I'm going to... Stay here? Why did he come over here? Was he chasing something, or...? It's very loud, whatever he is. Don't particularly know what he's doing. But he doesn't seem interested in us, so maybe he's hunting large herbivores, maybe? I'm not sure. Very odd. Uh, but it does seem like we've got a Velociraptor over here. Uh, they seem very scared of us, as they should be, and it seems... How long have we got left? We've got another three minutes on this before we have another egg. So we should be all good to go. Seems we have ourselves another Velociraptor and a Utah Raptor in the distance over there. As well as something else that seems to be coming very close. Oh, the... Ooh, no, that's an aloe. They're both aloes. Uh, so we've got aloes in the area. What's that guy's name? Texterior or something. Let's see if... We've got 14 minutes, which means we've got one egg! Sweet, let's invite Texterior. So anyone who kind of wanders into our our nesting area. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna give uh, a chance of becoming a suker. That's that's the plan. Uh, I don't know what these aloes are doing. I wonder if that's the same aloe as before. And that Rex is still making a heck of a lot of noise over there. Uh, I don't particularly trust him up in the hills in that direction. Simply because I don't know what he's doing up there. Were he hunting a large herbivore herd? Like, I'd understand it. If he was feasting and getting his hunger back, I'd understand it. But wandering off into the wilderness, I don't quite get it. And it makes me uneasy because I don't get it. Uh, there's no real reason for him to be doing that. 
Uh, and if he was doing it, uh, and well, sorry, if he if he is going up there t to perform nefarious feats, then I don't I don't particularly like that. But it does seem like we've got our second Suko baby, and you can see how much uh, King has grown compared to uh, well, what he was originally. Uh, the size difference is actually quite drastic. Um, though it does appear like we will have to move. So let's destroy the nest and let's wander off this way. Bringing our children with us because we're going to have to go hunting. We're going to have to leave our ancestral home because we need to go get more food. And it seems we have a raptor on our hands. So let's... A, we could eat this raptor. Don't trust the raptors being around though. I'm just gonna chase him off. I don't particularly like him being around. I thought uh, the puffing and puffing Yeah, okay. You guys sit. I'm gonna deal with this raptor. Uh, what we need him to do is he's gonna come around for another pass. We should be able to essentially one-shot this guy. Um, if he does come back in. But it seems like he's making a very wide loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that he's leaving. Okay, let's make sure our kids are catching up. And then let's head out into the wide world to, uh, to brave the day. I don't know where the other guy's gone. But he's gonna have to move if he wants some food. Because we ain't got food around here. King ate it all. I kind of wish that Utah would come back, actually, because that would mean a lot of food for my babies. Come on, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, so it seems like our other baby just logged off as soon as the Utah turned up. Uh, which is fine. I mean, if they're happy looking for food on their own, that's all good. Uh, but our biggest issue is going to be keeping King alive. Uh, so we're going to have to find food and pretty damn quickly. Um, is that food just there, actually? No, okay. Uh, it looks like we've got some food on the other side of the lake over there. Or things we can turn into food. Um, oh, there's you running. Okay, cool. I Babies trip me out because they still make the thumping sounds that large dinosaur impacts would make. Uh, but they're small, they're tiny, and you don't expect it. So hearing King run around stomping on the ground like he currently is is kind of strange. It's kind of weird and I don't know how to feel about it. it makes me uncomfortable because I want to look over my shoulder and make sure that he's okay and there's nothing following us that could take a chomp out of us. Uh, but at the same time I know that he is there and I don't know it's just it makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, you run a his Salrus. Salterus. Saltius. Yeah. Yeah, you guys run. You guys run. I'm not particularly going to take a snack bite out of you, but don't tempt me, bud. In fact, I don't like this. I might end up taking a bite out of you guys anyway. If you don't keep moving. Uh, now I know that there was a lot of Velociraptors just over the side here. Uh, just in that kind of area, just here. I can't see any moving about at the moment. But that doesn't mean particularly that much. Uh, we might continue moving up this way, see if there's anything still dead up along here. 
Um, we could go take out that Ostroraptor. Um, yeah, because I don't like having King with me uh, looking for food such as this. Because he's throwing himself right into danger. Uh, things will be targeting him because I'm only a single parent. Um, but hopefully there's a bit of food up here that we can kind of nab uh, to keep ourselves alive. Mm. Yeah, you keep moving, dude. Ooh, ooh, food! You go, King. All yours. I'm gonna watch your back while you run for that food. Because I don't trust any of the dinosaurs around here. I'm gonna keep you alive, buddy. Ooh! Ooh, this is the aloe that we saw before. Can I eat this guy? No? Well, that's a shame. Let's try these guys. Can I eat any of these? I can eat this one. Okay. So King should be able to as well. Uh, so we'll leave that one for King. King knows he can eat that. Can I eat this berry? I can eat this berry as well. So we've got plenty of food now. We should be okay. Uh, so scavenging is going to be a big part of our lifestyle for the moment because uh, we don't need to eat everyone and one of the server rules is don't just murder everyone because you can. Um, if there's food around, you're good. Uh, but what we can do is we can now defend these, well, clumps of nutrients because they are ours and there is nothing that can challenge us apart from that T-Rex over there and several of the herbivores that are also over there and that pack of Utahs over there. But we can try! We can try to defend our food resources as much as possible and see how it goes. Probably not well is the answer for that. Okay, so we've been defending around here for quite some time now. Now the reason I'm defending around here, even though I didn't kill any of these bodies, is because I we are playing as somewhat of an apex predator. So even though I'm pretty sure those Utahs probably killed this Barry and one of their own maybe, uh, we've been defending this for uh, 16 minutes because we can. Because uh, we need to get some food. I don't know if there's any more around. Uh, but yeah, but as you can see, uh, King has uh, grown up quite a bit since last time. Uh, they're nowhere near as small as they were before. Um, but what we might do is we might we might feed ourselves for a little bit. Uh, and I don't like this raptor being around here. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what's up. You know what's up. I don't like Utahs because they know that they're fast. They know that they can run in. I could try and kill this one, but at the same time I don't need to. Um, we're leaving now anyway, you've got plenty of food, there is literally no reason to. But I don't like that it's just chilling here in the crouched position. Waiting? I guess? I don't know, is that the baby too? Because I know there was a baby Utah around. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it and hope that it kind of knows what the good thing to do is. Who knows? Uh, I don't trust this Baryonyx here either. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh god damn it! No! King is dead! Get back here, Utah! Oh, I got two bleed as well, that's not good. Uh, okay, let's chase off this guy. Because I'm mad at your entire pack now! Get out of here, bud! Yeah, yeah, you run, you run, but I'm gonna aim for the, the main one. Where did he go? Uh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Yeah, it was the baby! The douche! There we go. God damn it! You killed my baby! Uh, oh well, an eye for an eye, I guess, at this point. Um, but there was no need for that! We were leaving! We were we were getting out of here! Are you, are you friendly? Salty? Or are you gonna try and take a bite out of my butt because I'm bleeding? I don't trust you. I don't, I don't, I don't trust you. And I'm, I'm so annoyed because there was no reason for that Utah to attack 
and now we've lost our child, and someone is messaging me in the background. Um, but that's just annoying! Man! And I guess we've adopted a Barry! Ah. But we've lost a king. May as well eat his remains. God. Okay. Maybe what we should do, maybe what I will do, is instead of uh, nesting around the main site, what I'll do is I'll try and hunt down something in another episode and see if we can, if we can get ourselves into a position where we can raise young again. Because I, I'm so annoyed that we were doing so well and we only came out because we needed food. And there were so many other dinosaurs I could have killed in that area, but I didn't because we didn't need to. And then there's just that one douchebag Utah. Oh well, I'm just, I'm ranting now. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Hello there, Hera. How you doing? Running away? Yeah, fair, fair call. And we got an Acro there, and a baby Anki. Hello there, little one. You were very small. So you got a really cool skin. Hello. Oh, boom, okay, goodbye. Goodbye, I'm out. I wasn't gonna eat him. But, sure, whatever. Cool. Okay, so what I might do is I might just head off into the wilderness, into the woods. Uh, leave these guys to their main lake, where they can murder as they please. Uh, and we might play properly, because I hate it when it gets to this point, when there's like, not necessarily anything to do. The food's all there, the water's there. Uh, nobody is, like, trying to be, well, hidden or anything like that. It's just... Because people get bored. People... People tire themselves out jumping off rocks into the water. Hello there, hello. Running away? Cool, whatever. Um, and then they just start being douchebags because they can. Especially Utahs. Utahs and Kanos, I find. Uh, well, actually, no, Kano's less so. Kano's know that they're fast, but they're a big target. Utah's know that they're fast, and they're a small target that can get away. Uh, and they can jump to places that no one else can get to. And it's so frustrating. Ah. And so what I might do is I might just chill out. I might just sit down. Ooh. That is an Ava. An Ava Ceratops. That's something I have not seen in survival yet. I wasn't actually sure it was in survival. Uh, hello there, other Hera. It seems that this is 95% carnivores. Um, but that's just, this is just annoying because we had a baby and it was fine. But, ugh, I'm just so frustrated and I'm still getting messages. Why am I getting messages? Ugh. Anyway, we might see if we can, uh, is that the Ava up there? Oh, okay. We, we might just chill out. We're just gonna... We're gonna roam around the countryside, looking at the beautiful scenery. Yes, yes, we have... Oh, you're, you're separate. You're not with the... other Suko. Cool. We're just gonna admire the landscape and chill out. But, uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you, and... Bye-bye!